My courses are designed from an ethnomusicological perspective to help students understand what is music, where does it come from, why do we have it? Those are three questions I always pose at the beginning of any of my classes and hopefully during the semester that I have them, the scope on that will broaden. I'm looking at Afro-American culture in a hemispherical perspective. So my scope is broadened from just the United States to the whole Western Hemisphere. For the last four years, we've taken a group of students down to different Afro-Caribbean communities and looked at the retention of Africanism in those communities in the early 21st century. My scope may be primarily in African-American cultures, but African-American cultures are just another hue of the human experience. Uh, for me, music is very precious. Everybody may not call it music in the sense of how that word sounds in English. But everybody has this stuff that we call music. One of my mentors, uh, back when I was studying uh, ethnomusicology from South India, uh, told me, he said, Leonard, you got to remember, the gift of life is given a human body. The purpose of life is attaining being a human being. So for me, it's important that students understand the roles and functions of music and how essential it has been and still is and will be into the future in terms of the evolution of humanity. What I know I will leave with them is a love and understanding of music and the important role and function of it in daily life. If we get to the point of being human beings, then we will see those commonalities. And just that understanding of how powerful music is and how essential it is makes me feel very happy. I figure the purpose of education should be get to the point that we can wake up one day and actually have peace on earth.